Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Heine House. It's so good to see you. I'm Jason, and today we're taking a look at the Steam Deck. This isn't going to be a deep dive overview review of the console, more or less going to be an unboxing and then sort of a reaction and first impressions. Very excited. We've been waiting a long time for this. Ordered it back October 2021, almost a year to recording of this that uh, we finally got it. And before we get into it, can I please just get a thumbs up just for taking off the label? Look at this. I took off the label without ripping any of the cardboard. Okay, a little residue there, but come on, give me a break. Thumbs up for that. All right, so let's just jump right in. This is how it comes shipped from Valve. Um, I love the discreet box. Thank you very much. Um, I'm covering up the side here because it has our serial number and all that sort of thing on there. Of course, the warning about the batteries, but look at that. Thank you for not plastering that. It's Half-Life Alex 2 and um, Valve Steam. A picture of Gabe on the front. You know, we appreciate that. All right, so uh, open it up here. So it looks like it has a bunch of cool text in here. On the patio, in a test chamber on the subway. Uh, this is, it looks like this is uh, text on where you can play this. <laughs> on a Ferris wheel up here at the top. Very cool. In a tent, very nice. Okay, so here we are. Or a little attention here. Plug in, power on. Okay, yes, we'll probably do that. All right, a little picture of the, uh, the Steam Deck here. Very nice. If this is actual size, boy, yeah, I mean, I guess it's got to be at least this this big, right? Oh, yeah, so there it is. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, looks like we have some accessories, contents here, power adapter, it says. Okay, and then here's the, the main event, the main course. Here it is, the Steam Deck. Oh, i got to cover up the side here. Here's our model number and seal number. Let me just, let me just crack this open here off screen. All right, beautiful. Look at this. Wow, very nice little case it comes with, too. This is great. Let's just take a quick look inside of this. Okay, cut that open here. I'm going to just move this box on out of the way. All right, here's this. Looks like a QR code here for a little manual if you want to read it. Opening this up here. It looks like just a good old-fashioned uh, little uh, power adapter here. Very nice. Okay, USB-C, of course. We're moving into a new generation. All right, anything else in here? Looks like we have just a, a manual. Very cool, there it is. All right, Steam Deck, very nice. So manual power adapter, that box. And then here it is, look at this, beautiful. Very nice uh, case here. It's uh, a you know clamshell case. Looks like we have some stuff back here. What is this? Oh, this is uh, great. This is for your sunglasses. No, I'm just kidding. It's not. Uh, this is probably for the power adapter to go in to protect it a little bit. I'm just assuming, not sure, but usually that's what that's for there. Or you can just take, you want to take the manual with you. You know, you want to do some reading, you're going on a flight, you're going to go travel somewhere. You know, so you need some reading material, folks. This is very nice. So it has this little strap here. Okay, so, like, you know, us 90s kids, you know, when we used to wear slap bracelets. You know, you can basically just do that again right here. You can just kind of slap bracelet and like when you say hi to your friends, you know, be like, what's up? What's going on? It's good to see you. Yeah, no, don't do that. Very cool branded valve piece here. Oh, this is to hold it together. This is nice. I got to get some more skizzers here to chop that off. This is cool though. It's like a zip tie almost. Uh, and it holds that together. Look at that. That's neat. Can I just, no, you can't. It's a one way, it's a one way thing. It's a one way street. It's like downtown. You can't do that. It's crazy. Ah, oh, this is cool though. I, what, am I, is it sad I kind of want to keep this? No, it's not. I'm going to. I'm going to frame it. All right, here we are. Let's go ahead and unzip the Steam Deck and then we nice. can uh, talk about it. Let's get a first look. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh my goodness gracious. Boy, that does look nice. That does look nice. I love that it has the, you know, the, this, you know, it's an official case, so it's going to be completely molded exactly to uh, the Steam Deck. Let's go ahead and pop this thing up. Very nice. Like that. Okay. 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 Yeah. Very, oh, very nice. This is a chonky boy. This is a real chonky boy, but you know what? It's actually lighter than I thought it was going to be. Quite a bit lighter. Yeah. Very nice. We got our L2. And L1 triggers up top, R1 and R2 over here. We've got our face buttons. We got our joysticks, clickable. 
We got our little touch pads here, a D-pad, okay, all feel pretty good. We have some other buttons around here, steam button, probably a menu button. We have our cheeseburger icon up here for menus. This looks like it has maybe a screen button. I'm not sure what that is. We'll have to take a look. Uh, looks like we have a micro SD slot here on the bottom. We got a USB-C on top, power indicator, power button, headphone, thank you. Headphone out, and this is a clickable volume buttons. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. I'm really digging this here. Let's take a look at what else is in this box. Very nice Steam Deck branded. This is a screen cloth. Very nice. And then we have the proper release here for when you put your Steam Deck in. You pull that to pull it up and out. Oh my goodness, they thought of everything. They better have, Gabe. Thank you. Can't get Half-Life 3, but we sure can get a pull tab on the Steam Deck. You know, that's what we're looking for. Okay, good stuff. No, I, I joke, but actually it's the, the quality of life stuff, the, the creature comforts, if you will, are great. Love the case. Everything looks really good. Of course, you gotta do the smell. <sighs> smell test. Any electronics nerd will... Oh boy, that's a... That's a good... That's a good smell on Steam Deck. I might need a minute here. Okay, let's go ahead and take this case off. And uh, let's just go ahead and run down a few specs real quick uh, before we jump into actually trying to power this thing on. 11.7 inches end to end here, which is about two inches longer than the Switch. Uh, you definitely notice it right away. I feel like the screen on this thing is about as big as a Switch altogether. Uh, that's probably not the case, but it feels like it. Uh, yeah, 1.5 pounds in total is what the specs say, which, yeah, yeah, actually it's... It feels really nice in the hands. It feels enough, it feels weighty, but it's not heavy. It's not like a Jaguar. Remember that thing? About as big as a, a Shaq's shoe. Uh, it comes in three different flavors. You can get the 64 gigabyte version, comes with a carrying case for 399. This is in US dollars. Uh, they have a 256 gigabyte version, which also comes with a carry case for $529. And then the version we opted for which is a flagship. This is this version. This is the 512 gigabyte version. Comes with a anti-glare screen, carry case, and it comes with a few other little, you know, cosmetic things, some steam badges and, you know, ridiculous little things like that if you care about that. This is a seven inch screen here, LCD screen. Uh, resolution on this is 1200 by 800, runs at 60 Hertz. And um, I'm hoping that it's it's gonna, it's, I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be just fine. I don't know, I, I will say that my brother, CJ, he has the Switch OLED. We don't have that one yet, but he has that and he brought it over and oh my goodness, I I love that thing. I think it's, it's, it's beautiful. And I think that we're spoiled now from OLED. Mark my words, folks, it hasn't been announced yet, but mark my words, the next version of this Steam Deck is gonna have an OLED screen. I'm just saying it's going to, but I'm sure that this is just fine. 1200 by 860 Hertz in a small form factor screen like this, this resolution will probably be just fan. Fantastic. It will be great. Okay. Um, I think that's really about it. Well, we have four programmable buttons here on the back. I mean, they do sit right where your fingers go. Yeah. So I guess if you want to program it to be something, uh, you could. I only see one USB-C on here. I don't see any other forms of IO. So I don't see HDMI, micro HDMI. I don't see anything else. So this is your main source for everything on the Steam Deck which means your power, your charging. Now they do make a dock and they do make some accessories that you probably should get if you are interested in putting that on the TV, which we are doing. Yeah, you're probably gonna wanna get a powered USB-C hub for this so you can take advantage of other accessories and features. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just turn it on and see what we have here. Maybe it's just me, but I am always extremely careful with how I put my, <laughs> how I connect my dongles and things. Because this is your only source of everything, just be real careful. <clears throat> I'm, I'm kind of the same way when I plug in controllers or chargers or anything like that. Because what's the number one thing that's gonna go, go bad here is this port, and then you gotta send that in for repair or do it yourself or whatever have you. And yeah, it's gonna be a problem. Okay, I plugged it in, there it goes. It's just, it's powering up on its own. Let's go ahead and just watch it here. And I really like this logo too. I do like it. It's simple. Oh, clever, clever girl. 
Got it all set up. Oh boy, checking for updates. This is probably where the video is going to end. <laughs> you know there's probably going to be a ton of updates for this thing. Yeah, I mean, first impressions on this is that it's very, very comfortable. I'm going to have to put it through its paces and play some games to see how it feels. Again, this, this really, if you're a Steam user, which I know there's, I don't know, a couple, couple million, trillion, billion, odd, quadrillion people that are, uh, this is going to be a nice, nice handheld to take with you. It's going to be a nice addition on your trips, on your, your travels, on your uh, convention goings. I mean, this is a portable PC, folks. So this is very, very nice. And I think, I think this fits a, a great market of gamers who want to play PC gaming or get into PC gaming, but don't want to spend two to five thousand dollars on a full build custom rig you know I mean, that makes sense now are you are you going to get the benefits of uh, a two three four thousand dollar pc gaming rig absolutely not it's just that's not what it, it's designed to be but you're going to get the experience you're going to get the portability and you have the the flexibility by plugging this into your tv with a dock and and, and playing i mean you can we definitely are gonna have to get a usb-c hub here because we want to plug in keyboard controller, a mouse, you know, we want to, we want to do things. I want to dock this really. I want to dock this here and plug it into my big 85 inch TV behind me and, and play from the couch and doing things like that. Now we have other ways to do it. I know you can, you can use Parsec or you can even use steam big picture with the steam remote and, and play and cast it. I know there's a million different ways to do it, but it would be nice to be able just to go here, boom, dock the console, Plug it in the TV and you're you're away and going. Um, I'm gonna wait for this to install and uh, possibly see if we can launch a game here and see how it plays. Volume buttons, cool, got that. SD card at the bottom, yep, we've already been through that. Very cool, have fun, absolutely. Look at that, logged right in, right into my account. Here we are with all the games, games that I've uh, played recently of course classic jay hine here battlefield bad company 2 american truck sim power watch sim yeah if you're over hanging out with me on twitch shout out to that i've been playing these games and streaming them and uh, we're going back in time classic stuff all right love it a whole bunch this is great here we go i just clicked stream and it's currently now streaming this game from my PC in the other room. Testing the uh, analog sticks here. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. The toaster is going. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it looks good. It, uh, oh boy. It has some nice haptic feedback in there going on. Analog triggers seem to work well. My driving stinks here. This is kind of a drifty game. Oh, there's my boost button. Let's hit that. Yeah, let's go. Let's get up here. All right, very good. I can definitely see the fun that can be had with this. Uh, I like it a whole bunch. So yeah, that's just a real quick little uh, introduction. The first time seeing the Steam Deck myself, very nice. Yeah, if you're a, a PC gamer and you want some sort of ability to have a handheld here to take it on the go, this is a great option for you. Or if you're getting into PC gaming, I think. Nice. This is a great way to jump into the Steam ecosystem and have a lot of fun with it. So again, if you like these sort of um, unboxings and reviews, give me a thumbs up and a like. Thanks for hanging out and watching the video and we will see you on the next one. Bye now.